Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's Tuesday. You regulars know what that means. Probably getting free stuff today. It's a coin flip, 50-50 chance, and yes, today the coin landed head. So we're getting three free assets from Epic Games for Unreal Engine, and these are system-level stuff for the most part this week, but we've also got one asset that you can use in other engines. As you can see right here, this is the asset. Uh, it is the Abandoned Cathedral. You can see the overview map of it right here, and you can see it running in the Godot game engine right here. Obviously, the lighting looks different, but the assets are very easy to get out and use other engines. The reason why I mention this every time is hoard these. Hoard all of these assets, even if you aren't using them today, because you can use them in other engines, or you may decide to use Unreal Engine later. And I literally have thousands of assets because I've been hoarding these since the very beginning. And as you can see, they look pretty damned good in other game engines, such as Godot as well. End of the Godot portion, let's head on back over. By the way, if you want to export these out to other engines, I have guides down below. In this particular case, I use the Unreal to Godot plugin. Uh, links for that are down there. There's also a couple bundles going on if you're interested in learning and getting assets for uh, Unreal and other engines. Check those links out down below as well. So let's go check out the uh, preview on this particular map, and you can see how these individual modular assets are used. By the way, you can export out to Unity, Blender, etc. So it does not have to be Unreal Engine. So again, hoard, hoard, and hoard some more. So you can see the asset right here in action. Uh, it is a um, abandoned cathedral, and then the world's around it. Let's go take a quick look inside of said cathedral, and you get an idea of the kind. Well, you saw what made this up or composed it. So you got the stained glass for this cathedral. Uh, you've got some, uh, you know pillars and columns and so on and then we got the outside because i'm a cemetery graveyard aspect going on there as well by the way you've got two weeks to pick these assets up for so two tuesdays from now is when they are no longer available for free so that is the first asset we're going to check out today and this is the second this is the pawn shop system it is well it says it on the on the tin it is a system for creating uh pawn shop type environments uh, you can read about the controls here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and check out the demo on this one. So this one is, I think, entirely blueprint driven. And it gives you the ability to do things like we come over over here. It wasn't immediately obvious to me, but there's some cash sitting over here. So move up to it and hit E. We'll pick it up. So now you see I have a balance of $900. It's got door systems for going in and outside of stores. And over here we have a vendor that you can go ahead, again, get close to on, press E. And then you've got purchasing so i could buy stuff from him we got an inventory over here pick said items and then we'll buy his stone as well and then we'll hit the backspace so it does the calculation so if you try to buy something that you can't afford like this diamond ring here uh it'll tell you no can't get it go get some more money speaking of more money well let's say we came back here and we want to sell we now have an inventory system here so we can sell a diamond ring I think I just cheated the system, though, because I somehow have more money than I started with. Uh, so, yeah, there there was that. And then what you also have going on here, so if we leave, so let's hit uh, backspace, backspace, and then done. Uh, we head back on over here and out our door. You're going to notice there is also an ATM system. So you can come up over here, hit the ATM, and you can use it to deposit and withdraw cash. Pretty straightforward. So that is the um, pawn shop system. So it's all the controls for doing all the various different things you saw right there in action. And then our final thing, well, it's not going to have the most exciting demo here. I'll go ahead and run it. You get an idea what's going on here. It is a multiplayer lobby uh, for, um, sorry, it's a multiplayer framework for creating like hunt showdown style games. It does the networking for you, the synchronization, etc. The problem I have, if I want to demonstrate this to you, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go ahead and say I want to have two players like so. And then I'm going to run this in new windows so you can see player one and player two. So let's just sync that over there. Player two over here. And I'm going to create Bob over here. And I'm going to create Dole over here. So this is what it does for you. On this side, this is the host. So I'll go ahead and host the game. Uh, I'm going to be um, two players like so. And then I can pick my character over here. Um, and then I play. And then it's waiting for players to join. On the other side of this network, I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, join a game. 
And then what you're going to see, I'm going to have to maximize this for you to be able to see it. I'll click the refresh button. My server shows up. My server shows up there. I've got one player in it already. And I can join my server. I pick which type to play as and then play. And then it'll do a 10 second countdown to start and demonstrate the game. And then it will do nothing else. So I don't know. Again, demonstrating these multiplayer things, it is problematic. So it may just not work with this setup. I don't know. But you're going to notice here we get a bunch of blueprint errors when I do that. So that's breaking this demo for us. I don't, I don't know what you do beyond that. But we'll go through the overview of what this asset is all about. So here we go. So we've got the three assets in this plugin, sorry, in this giveaway this month. Again, you have until two Tuesdays from now, so seven, so uh, probably the 21st will be the last day to pick these up. You'll notice you have a choice of licenses between professional and personal. It doesn't matter. It's Epic Games picking up the bill. So, hey, you might as well uh, pick a professional. They're the exact same thing. They're just determined based off of how much money you make when you buy it. So again, just pick one, but professional, hey, Unreal's picking up the tab. Uh, so you see over here, this is the abandoned cathedral environment. Kind of got interiors and exteriors for this creepy uh, rundown um, interior settings for an abandoned cathedral. Uh, so we saw that guy in action in the overview. And again, you saw this exported out to other engines. Guides are down below. So once again, pick these up. Even though this says this is for Unreal Engine only, it's uh you can export it out to other engines then we've got again the advanced asymmetric multiplayer template again i couldn't get it to work it should be this multiplayer stalker hunting game uh and it handles all of that for you uh so a comprehensive framework crafted for developers aiming to build their next multiplayer hit enhanced template powers game uh players to either host matches as a killer or join ongoing games as a survivor uh delivering thrilling 4v1 asymmetric gameplay so again, just like Hunt and all the other games in this genre out there, I think there was one called Evolve, a few others out there. Uh, it does all these things for you and handles a, a variety of different things. Like you see tons of stuff set up and there's a number of different characters that are out of the box and so on. Uh, implemented via 23 different blueprints. The only problem again is for some reason... It's not working for me. So, and the comment section is like, it's fab. They wiped all the comments. So I don't know if there is a workaround for this. I checked the documentation. The documentation, there is documentation, by the way, but it doesn't, it doesn't show anything that I may have done wrong here. So it could be a user error thing. If it is user error, please do let me know in the comments down below. Again, testing and demonstrating multiplayer stuff is never easy. Uh, and then finally, we've got the pawn shop system. Again, it handles ATMs, selling, buying, uh, an inventory, so you got stable items in the world, currency, and automated teller machine handled. There's door on that physics. There's a simple inventory system, and then a shopkeeper system as well. This is implemented as eight different blueprints, if you're wondering the implementation of that, and it works with Unreal Engine 5 through 5.6. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first October Fab giveaway. Let me know what you think of this month's contents, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.